I present to you... Charmander. The Collector. Oh, what's up, bro? It's an honor. All right, guys, here's the magic trick. Two hit, one chance. Tap it together and boom. There you go, guys. That's how you get two hit, one chance in one. And Whoa. That's how you do it, guys. Simple. Yo, what's good people? Welcome back to my Charmander YouTube channel. I'm excited. We have a really fun video today. I'm going to show all my error cards that I have in my Pokemon card collection. Um, I enjoy error cards. Not everyone likes error cards. I'm going to show you why I think error cards are pretty darn cool. Uh, first of all, they're rare. Um, not everyone has them and it's unique. You know, there's a story to it. I like cards that have a story to them. This is called a Ghost Pikachu. Uh, as you can see, there's kind of a first edition stamp, but it's not really there. Like the D is missing. Can you see the D is missing? Let's see. I can I can take them out. I'm actually going to be sending this to CGC. Um, PSA is not accepting cards right now, so CGC gets my Ghost Pikachus. You can pick one of these up for three to four hundred bucks. And if it grades well and it's in good condition, it can get it can be worth over a thousand something bucks, no joke. So I think you know the older these cards get, the harder it is to find. Um, I I literally I used to play with these cards as a kid. These are vintage Pikachu's. I literally used to play with these and evolve it into Raichu, and my stepdad would beat me, and I'd be like, "Man, go easy. I'm just a kid," you know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Check your bulk because look for the Pikachus because that's what I was doing. I was just pulling out Pikachus and I was like, wait a second. This doesn't look like a first edition stamp. So I know that PSA has started to grade them and call them Ghost Pikachu Error, something like that. But yeah, there's actually a lot of different variant Pikachus. Like the Red Cheeks Pikachu. I don't actually have one in my collection. I'm kind of surprised I don't have a Red Cheeks Pikachu. Um, let me see if I can find... Uh... Here we go. We'll use this as an example of what a first edition stamp looks like. Uh, I don't know if this card is good or anything. It's just a, it's, a, it's a first edition Charizard. Anyways, this is what a first, edi first edition Charizard... Uh, first edition stamp looks like it's it's dark it's bold you can see it it's clear this does this is missing the D and they don't have that circle with the one in it <clears throat> this card deserves its own video but yeah <laughs> he's just lying around here so that's enough of ghost Pikachu second card I want to show off is a war turtle I'll let you look at it. Try not to read the label. Just look at it. You tell me if you see something wrong with this card. Um, it's easy to miss, um, like the rarity symbol, uh, HP, or a, a spelling is wrong, or uh, like the Nine Tails has like no damage to it. Oh, I think I have a Nine Tails somewhere. It's okay. So if you've been looking at this card and you've read the evolution box error which is a PSA 8 what that means is that there should be a Squirtle here not a Wartortle Wartortle doesn't evolve into a Wartortle this should either be a Blastoise or this should be a Squirtle here's Squirtle and Wartortle real quick I do sell Pokemon figures I do collect Pokemon figures these are Pokemon world scale 120 120th scale world scale figures I just love to put them as a background. Oh, also, I just did a video on this uh, Pokeball. Really cool Pokeball. Gosh. 
Okay. Oh, so if you press it, it shows if you like caught a Pokeball, po Pokemon or something. Will it turn green? There we go. Ah, oh, we caught a Pokemon. All right. Where was I? <laughs> Got so distracted. Yeah, it should be a Squirtle, not a Wartortle. I love it. I think it's it's hilarious. I don't know. It's funny. It's, it has a story to it. It's unique. It's special to me. Uh, base set again. Look at look at your bulk. Check if you have any War Total cards in your collection. Um, yeah, I think I picked them up for like two fifty maybe a long time ago, and it's probably already worth like five or six hundred. I don't even know the back exact um, value of these cards anymore. But the prices are just going up and up. It's just harder and harder to find. Collectors don't let go of error cards very. Ooh, dang it! I already ruined it, didn't I? Shucks. Well, don't look at that. This is a Gyarados card, real quick. Uh, this, this should be a Nine Tails up here. This is one thousand year curse. Um, I think I have. Where's my Nine Tails? I had a Nine Tails card ready for this too. Uh, there, there's one. There's two. Okay, sorry about that. So the Nine Tails card, if you read, this is a PSA nine. This is a five. It says one thousand year curse, level thirty two. And if you read up here. That's supposed to be a Nine Tails card, basically. Also, PSA, what's up with this crinkles label and like cards like that shake and then you can hear it, like we're gonna make another video. Since we're talking about Nine Tails, I'll show you an Alola Nine Tails. PSA Alola Nine Tails. This is an error card, but we're gonna be doing a whole video on this, talking about the difference between a CGC, a BGS, and a PSA uh, slab. We're going to compare the pros and cons. And I have one of, I've got a Ninetales GX in each of them. So tell me which one you like the most, PSA, CGC, or BGS. We're going to do a whole video on that coming up soon. Um, oh yeah, we were talking about the Gyarados. <laughs> yeah. I love it. You got this fat border here. Um, the back, also, it's 100% authentic Pokemon. It's super off-centered and obviously just not factory miscut, but someone had a sheet of base set Pokemon cards. And I'm just going to show you the coolest card that I got in my collection. One of a kind. No one else has this card. Base set Hitmonchan. Check that out. He's like there and there and like what's going on? It's confusing. I just it 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 just makes me get giddy inside. Like I love it. It's so confusing. You got half the card on here, half the card on there. Like what's the corner? Is that considered the corner or is this the corner? I mean like obviously the condition does have some whitening on it. It's not gonna get a PSA 10 or anything. In fact, I'd rather send this to CGC because they give subgrades and you can see the surfacing and the centering, the edges, the corners, all that. So these are my coolest, one of a kind, sheet miscut Pokemon cards. I do have a Hitmonchan, ah, right here. I was like, I do want to show like, again, with the Crinkles PSA, come on. Uh, this is a Shadowless, but it's a PSA 5. And so this is what a base set Hitmonchan looks like. This is what it's supposed to look like. Tell me what you guys think. Is Do you like error cards? Do you like like cards that are unique and odd? Or some people have like no desire for them. I'm like, this is cool. This is awesome. Like I, I you don't see this every day. So yeah, base set error cards. I guess there were actually quite a bit of error cards in base set. The War Total, 
Evolution Box, the Ghost Pikachus. Um, gonna get some of these slabbed and they'll come back. Let me know what you guys think. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do sell Pokemon cards, Pokemon products on my website, Tremendo.com uh, and on eBay. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Charmander. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, all that good stuff. You know what to do. Um, literally, write write a comment and just be like, "Dang, dude, love your content." Just you know, show me some love. Uh, I'm I'm in love with these these cards. Like I cannot stop looking at them. Like these are s I love them. <laughs> I don't know if I can sell these. Uh, I hope they come back safely. But you'll see them again later. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.